Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this, we'll talk about the Comprehensive Guide to Nova Scotia's Critical Construction Worker Pilot Program for Canadian Permanent Residency. Embarking on the journey to Canadian permanent residency through the Critical Construction Worker Pilot Program in Nova Scotia is an exciting venture. In this comprehensive guide, we unravel the intricacies of a groundbreaking immigration initiative designed to address labor shortages in the construction industry. From eligibility criteria and application procedures to unique benefits and opportunities, join us as we navigate the path to a fulfilling future in Canada. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Greetings, everyone. We trust you're doing splendidly. We're excited to delve into the details of an innovative provincial nominee program, PNP, initiated by Nova Scotia, known as the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. This groundbreaking program addresses labor shortages in the construction industry, encompassing 21 diverse occupations. The best part, it doesn't hinge on the express entry system, making it accessible to a broader range of applicants. In this video, we'll unravel the intricacies of the program, covering eligibility criteria, application process, benefits, and much more. Section 1. Program Overview The Critical Construction Worker Pilot is a game-changer for those aspiring to contribute to Canada's construction sector, Unlike the express entry system, it boasts lenient requirements, making it an attractive option for individuals with varying backgrounds. The age limit spans from 21 to 55 years, with only a high school education prerequisite. What's more, applicants can bring their families along and apply for permanent residency, PR, collectively. Section 2. Unique Features and Benefits No Express Entry Linkage a key advantage is its independence from the express entry system, eliminating the need for high CRS scores or demanding IELTS requirements. Age flexibility. The age limit of 21 to 55 years accommodates a broad spectrum of applicants, providing opportunities for those who might not qualify under other programs. Educational accessibility. A high school education is the only educational requirement, offering inclusivity to a diverse pool of candidates. Family Inclusion. The program allows applicants to bring their family members to Canada, fostering a sense of unity and support during the immigration process. Cost Efficiency. Unlike many PNPs, there are no fees payable to the province, making the program economically viable for applicants. Section 3. Eligibility Criteria. To be eligible for the Critical Construction Worker Pilot, applicants must meet certain criteria. Work experience. A minimum of one year of continuous work experience in the construction industry in the past five years. Education. Completion of high school education or an equivalent construction certification recognized in Canada. Age range. Applicants must be between 21 and 55 years of age. Language proficiency. A CLB 4 for Tier 4 or 5 category jobs and CLB 5 for Tier categories 0, 1, 2, and 3 is required. Job offer. A full-time job offer from an employer based in Nova Scotia is mandatory. Section 4. Application process and documentation. Work-related document. Provide an experience letter on a company letterhead detailing your construction-related work experience. Educational Credential Assessment, ECA. Obtain an ESSA for your education credentials, or provide construction certification or training recognized in Canada. Language Proficiency. Submit your IELTS certificate with a minimum CLB 4 or 5, depending on the job category. Passport. Ensure your passport has at least two years of validity left from the time of application. Financial Documents. Provide bank statements for the past six months or an investment portfolio for fixed deposits. Family documentation. If family members are accompanying you, include marriage certificates for spouses and birth certificates for children. 
Section 5. Eligible Occupations. The program primarily targets occupations within the construction sector, such as construction managers, industrial electricians, carpenters, and bricklayers. Licensing or certification may be required for specific roles. Section 6. Transitioning to construction from other professions. If you're currently employed in a different field but aspire to work in the construction industry, the program provides a pathway. Consider coming to Nova Scotia on a visitor visa, enrolling in short-term construction certification courses, and leveraging the plethora of job opportunities in the booming Canadian construction sector. Section 7. Identifying Registered Employers Discovering legitimate employers in Nova Scotia is crucial. Utilize online resources to access the Nova Scotia Registered Stock Companies list, ensuring your prospective employer has the authorization to hire overseas candidates. Section 8. Application for Permanent Residency Follow these steps for a smooth PR application process. Submit online form. Complete the INSIMP 100 form on novascotia.ca slash INSIMP, ensuring all required documents are included. Nomination outcome. If nominated, you'll receive a provincial nomination certificate, valid for six months. Apply for PR within this time frame. Refusal procedure. If refused, you'll receive an email explaining the reasons. Respond within 10 business days with additional information for reconsideration. Letter of support. Upon nomination, request a letter of support from Nova Scotia for a temporary work permit or renewal. PR application. While working in Nova Scotia on a work permit, submit your PR application within six months. Conclusion. The Critical Construction Worker Pilot Program opens doors for diverse individuals to contribute to Canada's thriving construction industry. Whether you're a seasoned professional or transitioning from another field, this guide equips you with the knowledge to navigate the application process seamlessly. Act now, harness the opportunities, and embark on your journey towards Canadian permanent residency. Best of luck! As we conclude this guide, we hope it has equipped you with the knowledge and insights needed to seize the opportunities presented by Nova Scotia's Critical Construction Worker Pilot Program. Whether you are a seasoned professional in the construction industry or contemplating a career transition, this pathway to Canadian permanent residency offers a promising future. Act on the information provided, take advantage of the unique features, and embark on your journey toward a new chapter in the vibrant Canadian landscape. Best of luck on your path to success. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.